a pleasant afternoon. Mr. Daniel, Jason Phillips from Ottawa Praise, for all of the other people that might see this video. Pre-purchase inspection on a 1968 Plymouth GTX 440 four-speed car. Pretty good looker. Would have appreciated a little cleaner condition. I think it was washed and cleaned and waxed at some point, but it had some uh, marks on it. I had to keep wiping down to see what I could see. Paint's got a nice uh, reflective quality. I'm up on the deck right now, so we're going to do the lowers and kind of show you what we got. RS23L, like Larry, begins our VIN. Lower core support appears to be in pretty nice shape. K-frame was pulled. Front sway bar and mounts appear to have been all repainted, refurbished. New bushings there. Newer anyway. Since I'm on the end of the body, I'll just tell you the bumpers are replacement bumpers and both of them look nice and fit pretty nice. A little bit of uh, plating, post plating, or uh, pre-plating flaw. But nothing, nothing major. Disc brake setup is in really nice shape. Spindles were repainted. Ball joints upper and lower look good. No uh, decay noted in the bushings. Sway bar link bushings that was all taken apart when it was all painted. No overspray. Plated nuts there on the pinion snubbers. Control arms all painted nicely. Tie rod ends detailed dark silver regular and black sleeves center links in pretty good shape pitman arm tie rod in there nice going through the rest of the suspension everything over here looks the same looks the same inner fenders get dusted with a little bit of uh, paint a little bit A little bit of primer still showing up there. Splash areas are in nice shape and uh, they've been all painted. I'll stop here on the body for a minute and focus on the mechanical since we're underneath the vehicle. Proportionary valve on the brake system looks nice. Steering box was all repainted. You get the idea. In uh, 67, there was no machine pad there on the block above the oil pan rail. Not only was it not blank, but it was not there. At least uh, this early. Side of the block, we've got 9, 1667, September 16th, 67, early block for a 68. Back here, we've got a stamp on the flange right ahead of the inspection cover. Got a couple still photos of that. It says 440 with a series of numbers behind it. A833 manual four speed transmission. And we have a stamp pad there to read on the passenger side. And uh, does not match the VIN of this car. Little drip of uh, what appears to be oil. Yeah. All right. We got a little drip of the blue oil here. Car has a Brad Penn purple racing oil in it, I think, or something similar to that. So we got a little bit of a drip probably coming out of the rear main. Although, nothing obvious showing up here on the outside front. It's hard to get a look at, but it looks good. Nothing I can see coming out of there. 
Not the most easy location to get an oil filter out of, is it? Hardware on the suspension has been fully restored. Dual aluminized exhaust coming back, H pipe in the middle, two and a half inch. Looks pretty good into uh, some common style polished uh, stainless mufflers. Those look like they're in pretty good shape. Headed all the way out the back with oval ports. Dana 60. And uh, looks like it's been serviced and worked on, so does the drive shaft. Let's take a peek back at the uh, transmission seal. A little bit of dampness back there at the yoke seal. Let's see if I can get a better light on it. Let's see. There we go. Doesn't look like it's coming down, does it, on the each pipe? So back here we've got a bit of a textured effect on the rails <coughs> and uh, probably when it was blasted it had some surface rust in some areas. This rail is a little bit, uh, got a little non-uniformness happening in the shape of it. See if I can point that out better like this. So, not horrible. Got over a hundred still photos underneath here. Um, may have been a little bit of repair on this rail right in this area. Opposite here is that area again? A little paint rub there. Rail going to the back and extensions all look pretty good. Um, surface again, just a little rougher. And over on this side, wheel tubs, by the way, they look nice. I don't want to move too fast here give you make your stomach upset I believe it was on this side kind of you've got the smoothness and flatness of the rail there and then coming into here I've got a, a repair you can kind of see the potholes in the uh, bodywork. So definitely there was some prior rust or collision repair back here at one point in time. Long ago. Tabs present on the uh, quarter panels. I'll take a peek at it from behind. Everything's pretty clean. A little primer showing there where they didn't get enough color. Dusted in the corners and the cracks. Springs were definitely either replaced or stripped down and repainted and rebushed. Either way, they're looking pretty good. Gas tank's looking good. New exhaust hangers. Quarter panel tabs present. A little bit of uh, primer and corrosion showing up in the pockets there. So, pretty nicely cosmetically restored underbody. All right, that's what we have. Bumpers again are uh, nice and straight. A little bit of a kind of a plating wobble right in here. Nothing, nothing too serious, but you can kind of see it there. Uh huh. Not bad. This lower panel underneath the deck lid didn't get color sanded. I think it's probably still good. So it's got a little bit less um, shine to it. Rear tail panel trim is in really nice shape. Most of the trim on this car is in really nice shape. 
small quarter lights and the wheel opening moldings. Rocker panel moldings likely all changed. Wheels and tires are like new. 215 70 R15s on the front. Cooper Cobras, as you can see. A little fatter tire back here. 295 50 R15s. Good clearance. No issues there. All right. All four wheels look just like that. They look nice. Headlight bezels are in nice shape. Just a little bit of light um, patina in the center sections. Chrome bumper, really nice. Grille is in really nice shape. Marker lights have been changed. And uh, trim on this side mimics all the trim on the other side. So getting into the paint and body, I'm doing the double duty today. I'm doing some magnetic adhesion for a good visual aid tool. Um, I cleaned some spots on the car. I didn't come here to clean it. I spent some time cleaning another one and uh, I'm sure it was clean at some point. So that stuff is coming off. So uh, we have good magnetic adhesion through here just to show you what the gauge is gonna read. I think that says 5.8, some change. Here we got eight in the corner. Here we didn't have a read, OL. OL means, well, oh well. Another one up there, right in this little area. Other than that, we're getting good readings around the car. 36, business card magnet won't hang there. 24, that's close. And again, 9.2, that's easy magnetic. 19, pretty easy. Door corners, 10. Uh, 15. 14, 21, 9, looking good, 9, 9, okay, so you get the idea. I've got still photos of all those readings, and uh, everything's pretty good. The other quarter does the same thing this one does, only slightly wider. There's a little bit more dough right above the wheel opening, but you can't visually see it. You can only see it through the use of this tool and the magnets. So, overall, the car shows uh, pretty straight. I would say it's at least period straight. No major waves in the clear. Seems like it's got plenty of clear on it. Both sides look about like that. Door lines are good. Door overlap or underlap is good. No big dings or dents, no rust spots seen, no real door pings, and uh, I don't know how many miles have been put on it, but there's not really much in the terms of wear on these rocker moldings, and there's not much in stone splash on the back, so somebody lived on a paved street, didn't they? like me. So this side of the car, again, kind of mimicking. If you look up here, there's some crap on the paint, but I took a rag and cleaned it off in the still photos and kind of showed you. And it will clean up. Same here. All right. getting a nice look down the side of it. Door lines again, pretty decent. That uh, reflection in that door was kind of showing a little weave, but not bad, not bad. dislike it. A little protrusion, if any, on that uh, front edge of the door. Lines are otherwise good. Okay. We're going to get an almost cold start. It's 63, 64 in here. And we got uh, 
90 on the motor. They had to pull it up here for me, so we got almost a cold start. Thank you, go ahead. All right, go ahead and back it off, please. Oh, here, let me get your hood. All right, we got working reverse lights and a turn signal. All right, and a turn signal. Bang. We're going to finish up the interior and the trunk and the underhood outside. Take a drive right now, starting to get uh, daylight loss. Try the lights. Headlights. Bright lights. Parking lights. Yep. Uh, turn signals. Yep. Thank you. So while we're waiting for him to lock the building up, we'll talk about a few more things. So the uh, windshield's a replacement windshield. It's in really good shape. Couldn't find any stone chips or cracks in it. Uh, vent window frames appear to be original. Real light patina on the bottom. Uh, chrome, nothing, nothing substantial. The seals look really nice. They probably got changed. Door glass is really nice, just a couple little vertical roller scratches here, here, and along this edge. And then a couple little roller marks here, here, and here on the quarter glass. Belt moldings are nice, those got changed in the paint job. Everything got taken apart. I think that's a replacement mirror because it's very nice. I think the door handles are the same, whoops, door handles are the same way and so are the locks. And the badging. Zip badges. The uh, rear window trim fits pretty nice. Just a small little crack right there in the paint. Nothing to get too excited about. Deck lid uh, sits pretty nice. Pretty sure that rear window was replaced. I've got a little bit of focus issue going on. So over here, uh, not really as much going on on the glass, about the same scenario, just really light patina there. Small little ding. Trunk lines are pretty good. I'm going to come back at it like this. The deck lid sits just a little high on the passenger side. That line looks good. Passenger side just just a little bit. You can see a little bit of lift and overlap right there. Comparative. It's got room to go up a little bit, and that might be the case. Not bad though. Looks nice outside. We'll go for a ride. I'll look at the interior later. There really wasn't much to remark about on the interior because everything looks like it got replaced with legendary components or similar. Both door skins look just like that. Uh, the door prep work was pretty good. Latches were all taken apart. Rubber seals were changed. Bumpers and plugs put in for a change. We don't always see that. Not here, just we don't always see that in cars. Guys get going and they forget to buy the little stuff. GM prep work is decent. It was taken apart. It didn't look any better than that factory. Gloss. A little bit of sanding time was put into the jams. I think that'll clean up actually. Just dirt. A little rough edge right here on this glass. Somebody probably ran a couple, a couple
coat hangers in there to get their uh, keys out. Replacement uh, seat covers front and back, replacement carpet and mats. Council trim is really nice, too good to have survived that long. Dash trim is really, really nice all the way across. Tachometer's working. Just trying to get a little bit of this before the light dims out on us. Package tray's in nice shape, headliner done very nicely. Kind of no excuses. Nylons of the seat, whoops, I wasn't pointing at that. Nylons of the seat belts were replaced. Possibility I just recorded that. But anyway, that's all right. All right, let's take off. So, a recap we got two speed wipers working on both speeds. We got fan controls. And we got the radio. Uh, and and particular price. Yeah, Original AM radio, simulated wood grain steering wheel is in nice shape, turn signals are flashing on the inside, gauges appear to be working, let's hope, huh? tachometer's working, turn signal may not cancel, we'll try that out again. Yeah. Glove box uh, works, console works, liner was new. that horn again please night uh, day night mirror her shifter all right I'll pause till we can uh, burn up some rubber looks like that clutch is letting off at about halfway up the floor what yeah do you think? just about Closer to the floor or closer to the top of the pedal? Probably a little close, just a little bit above halfway. Okay. So we got the speedometer working, looks like it's uh, holding true. Looks like we got a gas gauge that works. Temperature looks like it's kind of this before? I'm uh, not. Not on the road, but around our industrial complex, yeah, this thing does drive really good. Okay. I'll park it for a minute and see if we can uh, put it sideways in the road like you did the last two <laughs> cars. <laughs> I know you're not going to give me that, but what are you going to give me? My client wants to see this thing go. I won't call you by name on the video in case the police watch. <laughs> All right. Right in here. Okay. Let's well, let's hope the 
brakes work. Yeah. If you don't mind, yeah, kind of loosely hold the steering wheel and let me see what the car's doing as it's floating down the road. Yeah. Alright, thanks. You stab the brakes a little bit while you're kind of holding it loose. Is it pulling either way? Nope. Alright. Pull either way. I didn't mention earlier, but the parking brake does appear to work. Both seats move forward and backward as intended. And I'm going to carefully hand off my camera. It's kind of uh, broken. Here, I'm going to pause it for a minute. So hang on a second. Let me just find myself. All right, my turn. Oops, I, don't know what that was. I think that was a seatbelt. So finishing up on the interior, I want to make sure I showed the opposite door skin and the door jam. A little contamination there apparently. Oops, I'm not pointing at the right spot. A little fatigue in the metal that uh, got painted over. But the presentation of the jams is pretty nice. That latch could stand to be painted or clear coated because it's oxidizing. It looks like it got bolted in without being painted or treated. Sail plates have been changed. And then the front jams, they look pretty nice. Go back to the trunk. And before I do that, we'll show the stills back up there. Courtesy lights are working on the dash, on the console, and the dome lights working. Trunk is set up really nice. Replacement mat, red line tire. Looks good in the trunk. Doesn't match the uh, Coopers, does it? But got a jack. And a handle, rubber seal's been done, jam condition. Pretty nice. The left side of this pin lays nice and flat and smooth. 
presents well. Minimal sealer up against the wheel tub. Other side of the uh, pan looks just a little more distorted. Pretty good shape back there on the back side of the tub. The lid was in really nice shape. Show it to you. Uh, no decay noted in the seam at all. All right, let's do the recording under the hood. Both uh, door locks work, by the way. Vintag's in nice shape, RS23L. We talked about that earlier. 8 Charlie has a 2021 New York safety. 68 fender tag. A little bit different than the 69, isn't it? Well, all right, we took a lengthy pause here to observe the engine bay. Paint work's done pretty nicely throughout the front end. A little bit of uh, contamination down there. Most of that is dust. No heavy amount of color sanding done on the inside. Power steering, power brakes, ground, disconnect. Power brake booster appears to be a replacement unit. You can see that's a replacement. Wiring harness and the wiper motor looks to be replaced. Voltage regulator. Steering lines and everything are nice. Got the color, color pressure clips on there. Fan shroud and radiator core appear to be in pretty good shape. There's a few dead bug marks up there. Oil is nice and clean. It's got the uh, racing oil in it. It's an electric choke on an Edelbrock single feed. Hood pad was done, and the hood all along the edges is really nice. Didn't see any bowing. Paintwork was done nice. Rubber strip that goes along the core support was replaced. New trim and hardware. Coolant's in good shape. Back side of the hood, hood opening detail uh, shows nicely as well. 440 bulges are in really good shape. I would say a nicely done car, nicely executed car when done. So finishing up on a pre-purchase inspection. Daniel, what do you think? Again, if you're looking at this video, it's because Daniel's not looking at it anymore. It's either in his garage or the car's back on the market for sale. 800-301-3886. If you need a car inspected anywhere in the country, if you want a video shot like this, call me personally and I'd be happy to do it. If you saw anything in the video that I missed, please feel free to reach out and leave comments on my channel like you do. Sometimes nice, sometimes not so nice.
All right, there we have it. Have a nice day.